So, James, you won your first Grand Slam match, main draw match yesterday. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's really exciting to, to go out there and play uh, in front of my home crowd and um, really, really excited to, to get a win. So tomorrow you play Tipsarevich. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you think you need to play and uh, what, what, you, what you can expect from that match. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a really tough match. He's, he's number nine in the world. Um, he had a great year last year, breakthrough year for him. and. Um, He's, he's, he's great, great off the baseline, off, off both wings, and I'm going to have to, uh, to, to play aggressive and uh, look, look to come forward and, and really uh, put pressure on him. So you have a little bit of an advantage, being in the home crowd and a home tournament, they kind of help you out on the schedule, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, they're able to, you know, to, to ask me when, when I'd like to play, and uh, you know, sometimes they're, they're able to, to get me uh, on, on the court and, and time that, that I want to, and uh, yeah, it's great. Well, I'm Tennis Australia here. Um, and what's your preference normally? Uh, I like to play during the day. I like the courts a bit faster. I um, like a bit of wind, a bit of conditions. Um, and yeah, that, that, that suits my game the most. So for, for people that haven't been to Melbourne, what would be your, your suggestion on places to go, places to eat? Uh, I stay up at, in South Yarra, um, just, near, just near Chapel Street. There's a lot of great restaurants down there. Some good movies, um, good movie theaters there as well. Um, so yeah, I guess have a, have a wander down Chapel Street and there's plenty of restaurants and things to do down there. And what's your favorite movie to watch uh, repeatedly? Repeatedly? I'm not, I mean, I'm not someone who usually watches movies over and over again, but one that I have seen a few times is Law Abiding Citizen. Uh, it's a great movie and uh, yeah, I really, really enjoy it, so get out there and watch that. And what kind of music do you like to listen to? Um, listen to a variety of things lately. Uh, well, Kind of changes um, week to week. Lately, I've been into uh, been into a bit of Flow Rider. Um, good feeling. Listened to that yesterday before I played. Um, yeah. And Can you rap a, a, a part of it? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So, um, so who, who who is like the player you looked up to growing up, and, and you kind of maybe modeled your game after? Is there anyone like that? Uh, yeah, it wasn't um, Malin too, definitely not Malin. Uh, probably, I'd probably say Leighton Hewitt and Pat Rafter, um, two, two great Aussie icons. Um, they, uh, they, they won a couple of Grand Slams each, they played Davis, played Davis Cup for Australia, and two, two great guys who uh, I've learned a lot from uh, through my career. And you just finished your first autograph session. To have your first autograph se session at the Australian Open, how does that feel? Yeah, it was good. Um, Wrist, wrist held up alright, so that was, that was good. Uh, Seeing it just got a little bit scribbly towards the end, I've got to probably work on that, go home and practice a few. Um, yeah, so you're going to practice your signature? <laughs> it was, good, it was okay. good fun, yeah. And a lot, some of the girls were, were squealing a little bit. Did you, did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah, no, that was <laughs> that was good fun as well. Um, and rumor has it your your, your agent Maylin is going to have to try to f help you find a new girlfriend. Is that yeah, right? um, I've just set her a task, and um, hopefully she can step up to the plate and organize that for me. All right, good luck. <laughs> Thank you.